Today we will be looking at the preferred sequence rule for the Preactor Advanced Scheduling Module. This is one of the most popular and configurable rules in Preactor. The standard Preactor APS preferred sequence rule is an event-based sequencing rule that attempts to maximize utilization of resource capacity while also grouping together similar operations according to a hierarchy of attributes. Event-based rules work by identifying each time in which an operation could be scheduled on a resource and evaluating what operation would fit best. Here we have the resources table. Each resource can have a separate list of attributes to be used to determine the sequencing order. The first attribute in the list will be used to sort the list of potential operations that can be scheduled at each event. The preferred sequence has already been set for every resource except final assembly. We'll do that now. Here we have a list of all of the options available for the preferred sequence criteria. For our purposes, we're going to select the table attribute rank 1, which is also known as the color rank. We have set multiple ranks for different resources. Preferred sequence attributes can be ordered in one of two ways, either lowest value first or highest value first. When evaluating which operations to schedule, the preferred sequence rule will sort all the operations it can schedule according to these criteria. We'll be adding the color rank in the lowest value first mode. In this example, we've added the color rank lowest value first as our only criteria. This will tell the rule to schedule operations in sequence according to the rankings in the color table. Each operation falls into one of three colors, red, blue, or green, Red being our highest priority, green being our lowest. Once the resources and ranks have been configured, we're ready to try out the preferred sequence rule. We'll open the preactive sequencer and make sure that our terminator bar is set to the correct start time. First, we'll run the APS forwards rule to give us a baseline for comparison. If we look closely, we can see that the color of the operation on the graph aligns with the color attribute specified for that operation. This makes it easy to see that the APS forwards rule scheduled everything without attempting to group based on any criteria. Next, we'll run the APS preferred sequence rule. We'll use a one day look ahead for the first pass of the preferred sequence rule. This will attempt to group everything together in one day buckets. Everything due in the first day will be grouped together, then everything due in the second day, and so on. Keep in mind that if there is not enough time to complete an order by its due date, then the rule will include it in the next day's orders. The due date is showing as the second line of text on each operation, and we can see that we're going blue, green, red, green, red, green. Then here we have our first instance of the preferred sequence rule working. We can see that the rule has grouped together the different colors in daily buckets. This works well if the plant can complete a lot of orders in a single day. If the process time for each order is longer, then it would make sense to group together orders that are due across multiple days. For the next example, we're going to use a seven-day look-ahead. This look-ahead will encompass the due date for all of the orders in the model and will maximize the number of orders grouped together. Once we've scheduled with everything included in the look at window, we can see that most of the operations group together by color. Thank you for your time. I hope this helps you to better understand some of the capabilities of Preactor and its sequencing rules.